Good morning, guys. Hi, hello, how are you? Um, it is, it's early. I didn't, we didn't do, this is not a Dunkin' run this morning. I didn't feel like going to Dunkin' because they have all new people and the new people, like every time I go in the morning, the new people, I don't know how you give the new people the morning shift. I would've thought the new people had the evening shift. But anyways, it don't taste good. And I'm like, I can't be, I don't, I don't, it's not expensive, but still, like you want, I get tired of having to pull over and go in and go, you guys need to remake this. Like it tastes like water. It's so very watered down. And it just tastes like coffee water, not a flavor. So we did a Chick-fil-A iced coffee, a Chick-fil-A run. <laughs> It was my second favorite outside of Dunkin'. I don't really like their coffee. Their co well, their iced coffee's not bad. Their regular coffee's way too strong. And my stomach be like, a little more, a little bit more. <laughs> Within like two seconds of taking a sip. So yeah. So update, just wanted to update you guys because uh, we are, so this is the week, this is post Dory, post Hurricane Dorian. And um, I wanted to update you guys on what happened with that situation because my job uh, decided to, they said, we're going to go ahead and resign you. Um, even after I told them that every single facility on our post was closed due to the hurricane. Um, due to the hurricane. So I did not. And then I, even though, and my husband still had to show up to work even though everything else was closed so we did not have child care in place for our daughter i let them know that follow the proper procedures follow the proper protocol did everything i was supposed to do and my team lee had the nerve to say to me i live in eastern north carolina hurricane dorian wasn't until september 5th and september 6th where were you the days prior so um, I polite, well, probably wasn't as polite. I probably turned into a little bit of a keyboard gangster, but that's okay. Because this keyboard gangster can back it up in real life. <laughs> um, and I hate repeating myself. And this was my third time with him. With him, like, I'm like, what do you want? I'm like, what do you need me to send you to prove? I was so, I politely just told him. Um, you do realize that although the hurricane didn't get to you in North Carolina until 9596, I'm in Southeast Georgia. So it was 94 for us. There's, you do realize there's a whole state in between us. We got Georgia, South Carolina, then North Carolina. I said, and on top of that, you do realize that if there is a mandatory evacuation or things shut down, Due to the hurricane, they don't. It's not shutting down the day that it's supposed to hit. Everything starts prior, previous. And I was like, and I live on a military post. So military, I don't live in civilian housing. I live in military housing. Um, so, uh, so the rules and regulations when it comes to mandatory evacuations when it comes to stuff shutting down are a lot different um than what it is in the civilian world so if you're so the difference is in the civilian world if we lived off post and the county issues a mandatory evacuation for your city you have a choice to stay you can stay if you choose to. You can choose to stay put and not move. You can choose to. On a military post, if you're manda if you're under mandatory evacuation, it literally it really is a mandatory evacuation. Like the MPs go door to door knocking and issuing tickets uh, to anyone who stays who is there after the cutoff, the leave time. So mandatory evacuation started at um noon on the second on labor day and then you had to be out by wednesday the fourth no later than noon so from noon on labor day you had to be gone by wednesday
Wednesday at noon. 12.30, 12.01, on Wednesday noon, if you were not actively evacuating or if you were just in your house, you are then at that point issued a federal ticket and will face charges for disobeying a direct order given by the given by command that is how it works on a military post so and then most people realize in the civilian world you have state and federal tickets you have you know it goes on every military base whether you're army air force navy marines wherever you're at every ticket or anything issued to you is federal everything is federal that is just how it works everything is federal so i explained all of that in the first thing that i had to send because um and the first thing i had to send i explained all of that and i was and he sent me another email that said if you don't respond to this email within 48 hours we're going to process a resignation um, we're going to process your resignation because you failed to appear to work. So I then sent another email. Um, so I then sent another email explaining it all again. And then when I arrived at work this morning, when I got on my systems this morning, I had another email saying, <clears throat> well, I live in North South, I live in Eastern North Carolina and Dorian wasn't until 9596. So I'm still waiting on you to respond and tell me where you was the, uh, the rest of the week. And I'm like, what? So, anyways, hold on, I gotta go through the Jesus. Anyways, all right, so I'm coming through the base. Anyway, so yeah, so this was my third time explaining, and I'm like, I don't like either you have to be super dumb, um, not not super dumb to not know how military, not know how military bases work, not that part. But you have to be super super dumb to say to me, I live in Eastern North Carolina. Dorian wasn't until. Um, nine five nine six. Nigga, I don't live in North Carolina. I live in Georgia. You do realize that it's Florida coast, Georgia coast, South Carolina coast, then North Carolina coast. So just because you didn't get the hurricane to nine five nine six, you do realize it started a lot earlier for me, and then a lot earlier for the Floridians, and then a lot earlier for the by Bi um what is it? Were there Bahamians? Bahamians? Yeah. So I'm like. But my issue was more so like, we have a lot of people work in Florida and I'm pretty sure they, I'm pretty sure they missed work because Florida got pounded bad. Luckily we wasn't that bad. We weren't that bad here. The only issue was they shut everything down in case we were that bad. So I didn't have anybody to watch my daughter so that I could work my hours. So that was the worst case. That was the worst thing for us. They shut everything down due to lack of personnel due to the hurricane and lack of personnel because a lot of people who work at the facilities on post my daughter is on school at school on post um a lot of people that work at the facilities on post don't live on post a lot of some of a lot of them aren't even military affiliated they're civilians um and they live in all of the areas surrounding us so they were under evacuation notice and then um they were under evacuation notice um, for the portion of the town that they lived in. So I still couldn't work. And then my husband being a soldier had to report to work still um, to do two for uh, to do two things um, to make sure like their stuff at their motor pool, you know, the tankers and all of that stuff was cleaned out, tied down properly so that if we did get hit as it like it was forecast that we were going to get hit because it didn't, it was at the last minute that we found if we if the forecast changed and Dorian shifted a little bit but they had to do they had to make sure the base was prepped as well so i i did all my my issue was like where is your customer service where is your empathy where is your oh i'm sorry that that happened uh, is your family okay? Are you guys okay? How bad was it? Did you did you have any damage? None of that. Just um, we were gonna process your resignation because you wasn't here. And I live in Eastern North Carolina, and Dorian was nine five and nine six. My team has all the information about that. And I was like, wow, okay. Well, yeah, but 
sorry i don't live in the civilian world i live on a military post this is my third time and i put it on like this is my third time explaining to you and i'll explain it to you this is the last time i live on a military post and military post and civilian rules are different so that's fine if you want to go ahead and process my resignation that's okay i'm i'm okay with that that's fine i'll make sure your equipment is mailed back to you um to by today or later tomorrow by i said by later today or early tomorrow morning you have a nice day you have a nice day and thank you for the time that you've allowed me to work for your company yep so i'm like no i don't i do not absolutely positively unequivocally do not have time for the boo boo at all so yeah so i'm jobless right now but i'm looking it's the holiday season i'm looking for something for the holiday season but as of right now i'm jobless i'm jobless as of right now um so that gives me more time to focus on my youtube videos and you know things like that and tutorials and stuff like that so that's exciting um but first and foremost pause pause um today is a very pivotal day today is the 18 year anniversary or death i don't like calling them anniversaries that sounds anniversaries are supposed to be exciting times and there's nothing exciting about what took place on September 11th, 2001. Um, so, we should all pause and take a second in our day to give a moment of silence and remembrance for all of the people that lost their life. Um, that lost their life, who woke up that day and was just thought they were having a regular day and was living their life, lost their life. And for all of the first responders, military, police, all of them who gave their life to, to try to help people survive. Um, our first responders, our military, they are so underpaid and underappreciated for the things that they do, our firefighters. Um, I I don't know about you guys. I can't run into no burning building. I can't. Um, I'm not cut out of that cloth. I can't. I can't run into a building that's that's falling down. I can't. I wouldn't even sign up for a job where I could. I'm not cut from that cloth either. Um, I I can't even pull nobody over to give a ticket. Um, I'm not walking up to no stranger's car, not cut from that cloth. And I definitely could not put on the combat uniform and fight wars and put myself on the front line of wars. I'm not cut from that cloth either. My husband was, husband is, but I'm not. So I feel like we should give a moment of silence. You should take some time out your day. Have a moment of silence for the people who lost their lives um, and for the people who gave their lives. Um, on that dreadful day, I still remember where I was. I was in my sophomore year of high school. Um, and uh, I was in my English class. And the TVs came on in class. And we didn't know what was going on. And it came on right on the part where the second plane was going into the tower. And uh, we were all just sitting there like, what is going on? You know, um, and you know, and our hearts, even as even as these young teenagers, with like not a care in the world, um, not thinking about nothing else, all of us were just overwhelmed with like grief and crying at you know at the fact of what was taking place on our TV screens um, and the people lives that were lost. So, please take a moment in your day. Um, and just give a moment of silence 
just to pay respect to all of those people who lost their lives on September 11th, I believe it was 2001. Okay, so now, um, now I'm home. I'm jobless. <laughs> uh, YouTube said I don't get enough watch hours to, oh, this hurts so bad, guys. I need to stop picking at it. YouTube said I don't get enough watch hours to get paid from my videos. So I'm legit jobless. <laughs> Again. I'm laughing because I know God got something greater period i know that when stuff like this happens instead of taking it like a i'm pissed off i take it more as a my time is up my time there is up it's time to move on so um yeah so look out and be on the lookout for more content um more videos more content i have a little bit more free time until i until my next blessing comes and i'm getting i have another job so yeah I can't wait to put out this content for you guys. Um, this will go up today, September 11th. And then you guys will have a video that I already have scheduled for next Monday. Um, and so, yeah. I'll talk to you guys later. Hey, go check out my makeup videos. Um, I'm trying to get my views up, guys. So that... Uh, I can stay doing this. This is this is what I love. My passion is um, I'm not the best of the best, but hopefully, I, but there's growth. I can I show y'all some pictures, and there is a lot of growth. <laughs> um, but hopefully, you guys can you guys like the journey, and you guys can follow the journey with me, and um, see where I make mistakes, critique my mistakes, see where I've improved, and you know, enjoy it. I also have time now to get back on my weight loss journey because I'm fat child. Just being honest, I'm fat. Like, I'm the biggest I've ever been right now. And everything hurts. Everything hurts. Um, and everything is, and I don't like this. I do not like, I'm like, I do not like the fact that there's like a line of demarcation and then, a, then like a fat throat. <laughs> I don't like this. Oh, Jesus at all. So, and I can't see my clavicle, well, my titty right here, but I can't see my clavicle. Can't see none. My neck is all wide and fat. When I'm when I'm skinny, I have a neck. When I gain weight, it's like it don't look like I have one. So, I get to start back on my weight loss journey cuz there's nothing stopping me. I have nothing but time until I find something else. So I'm going to take this time and I'm going to use this time wisely. So, be on the lookout. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for your dedication to watching me, um, to watching my videos and supporting me. I appreciate it so, so very much. Um, and don't forget to take time out your day just to pay your respects for all the lives that were lost today. Bye.